Hello friends, in this video we will go to discuss about double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulation. This is the one of the type of amplitude modulation. It is shortly called as DSBSC means double sideband suppressed carrier. Okay, let's first see what is double sideband suppressed carrier. Double sideband suppressed carrier modulation is a technique in amplitude modulation. Okay, it is also one of the technique in amplitude modulation. The DSBSC, DSBSC in other words, double sideband suppressor carrier wave can be obtained by simply multiplying carrier signal and message signal. Here, how we can get the DSBSC wave means by simply multiplying the message signal and carrier signal, then we will get the DSBSC signal. Okay, now let's see here. Here, modulated signal consists of two sidebands without carrier. Remember this point. This is a very important point here. In DSBSC modulated wave, we have two sidebands. One is upper sideband and another one is lower sideband. But here we don't have any carrier signal. We don't have any carrier signal. Here, we completely suppressed the carrier. As the name indicates, double sideband suppressed carrier means here modulated wave consists of two sidebands but suppressed carrier means no carrier carrier is completely suppressed okay this is the definition about the double sideband suppressed carrier and here let's see message signal message signal x of t is equal to am cos omega mt message signal is also known as modulating signal here am is nothing but amplitude of message signal cos omega mt is the frequency of message signal and Treat it as a equation number one. And next see the carrier signal. Carrier signal consider C of T is equal to AC cos omega C T. Here AC is the amplitude of the carrier signal and cos omega C T is the frequency of the carrier signal. And consider this as the equation number two. Here we are going to find the power of DSBSC wave. We know DSBSC wave is nothing but double sided and full carrier wave. Here we have two sidebands as the name it indicates double sideband that means here we have two sidebands and suppressed carrier means carrier is suppressed that means there is no carrier. Here the overall meaning is we have two sidebands and zero carrier that means the power of the DSBSC wave is nothing but the power of these two sidebands. Okay. Uh, in order to calculate the power of the DSBSC wave First, let's consider the DSBSC wave. The standard form of DSBSC wave is M of T. M of T is nothing but modulated wave is equal to AM AC by 2. AM is the amplitude of the message signal. AC is the amplitude of the carrier signal by 2. Cos of omega C plus omega M into T. We know omega C plus omega M is nothing but what? Omega C plus omega M. Higher frequency band and omega C minus omega M is the lower frequency band. Okay, and otherwise we can say like this also. It is the upper side band and it is the lower side band. Okay, we know the total power in DSBSC wave. In DSBSC wave, we have only two side bands. There is no carrier. That is, total power is nothing but the power of the lower side band plus power of the upper side band. Here, total power PT equal to power of lower side band PUSB plus power of sorry power of upper side band. PUSB plus power of lower sideband PLSB. Okay. In order to find the total power, we need first we need to find the power of lower sideband and power of upper sideband. As we know, both sidebands have the same power. Both USB power power of USB equal to power of LSB. This is same for uh, amplitude modulation as well as DSBSC. Both they have same power. Now uh, in order to find this total power, we need to find at least one power, either PUSB or PLSB. First, we know standard formula for power. We know power is equal to V square by R. In order to find the power of the amplitude modulated waves or DSBSC wave, we need to consider V as the VRMS. That's why V square RMS by R is the power of the lower sideband. Or we can say it is also a power of the upper sideband. Now, what is the V here? VRMS is nothing but Vm by root 2. Vm is nothing but amplitude of the signal by root 2 whole square by R. Here consider this is our circuit or not a circuit. This is our modulated 
mathematical exp expression modulated wave mathematical expression and this is the this is nothing but am ac by 2 is nothing but the amplitude of the modulated wave am ac by 2 is the amplitude of the modulated wave and here vm is also amplitude of the modulated wave here in place of vm we can simply substitute am ac by 2 okay that's why in place of vm i substituted am ac by 2 into already we have root 2 root 2 whole square then am square ac square 2 square is 4 and root 2 square is 2 4 twos are 8 that is 8 r that is the power of the lower side band as well as upper side band we know total power in dsbsc is nothing but power of lower side band plus power of upper side band that is total power is equal to power of lsb plus power of usb both having the same power that is nothing but am square ac square by 8r substitute this power of usb and power of lsb in this equation then am square ac square by 8r plus am square ac square by 8r here we have two am square ac square by 8r's that's why am square ac square by 8r plus am square ac square by 8r is nothing but 2 into am square here i will write 2 am square ac square by 8r here 2 1s are 2 4s are that is finally am square ac square by 4r is the total power of dsbsc wave okay Hello friends, in this video we will go to discuss about bandwidth of DSBSC wave. We know DSBSC wave having two sidebands, one is upper sideband, another one is lower sideband and it does not have any carrier. That's why we call it is a suppressed carrier modulation. Okay, here we have two sidebands, one is upper sideband and another one is lower sideband. We know bandwidth, bandwidth is the difference between the upper sideband and the lower sideband. This we know. Bandwidth is the difference between upper sideband and lower sideband. What is upper sideband? Upper sideband is nothing but f max. It is f max is nothing but frequency of the upper sideband. That is carrier frequency fc plus fm message frequency. This is the frequency of the upper sideband. Consider this is the equation number one. And what is the frequency of the lower sideband? That is minimum frequency. Lower sideband always having minimum frequency and upper sideband having the maximum frequency. Remember these points. And F min is nothing but lower band frequencies or lower sideband frequencies. That is nothing but Fc carrier frequency minus Fm message frequency. And this is nothing but the lower sideband frequency. And consider this is the equation number 2. We know bandwidth is nothing but f max minus f min f max is nothing but upper sideband frequency minus f min is nothing but lower sideband frequency what is upper sideband frequency here fc plus m fm and substitute fc plus fm in place of f max and lower sideband means f min is equal to fc minus fm substitute fc minus fm in place of f min then we will get then we will get this type of equation here fc plus fm minus of fc minus fm here fc plus fm multiply this minus into in inside then minus fc minus into minus plus fm here minus fc minus fc get cancelled and we have fm plus fm that is fm plus fm is nothing but 2 fm and finally bandwidth of dsbsc wave equal to bandwidth equal to 2 fm hedges this is about bandwidth of the dsbsc system